Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, we'll learn about uh, learning by problem solving. The previous videos we have learned about what is learning in artificial intelligence, what is route learning, what is learning by taking advice, and this is uh, the third type of learning, which is learning by problem solving. So in this type of learning, no teacher advises. That means uh, usually we have humans who is advising the system. So here no teacher advises. But learning is by experience. It does not involve increase in knowledge but method of using the knowledge. So what happens over here is it doesn't increase the knowledge of the system. It, what it does is just increase the method of solving the uh, solution for a particular situation. So that method get increased. So let's say for GST, uh, not GST, GCD, we have uh, different methods. We have normal method to find GCD and we have another method which is GCD into LCM is equal to product of two numbers. We can find in this method or we can find it in this method like going down by down. So we have these two methods. So a method is changed over here. So it relate somehow and the new method is uh, changing over here. What happens over here is no knowledge in increase just the method is changing and in this we have learning by parameter adjustment. For this we need to uh, learn about neural networking. Neural networking is uh, a very interesting topic. I would like to make a video on that. So in that Neural networking, many programs rely on evaluation procedure that combines information from several sources into a single summary static statistic. That means, you know, uh, Samson checker problem. Samson checker problem says that we have set of features, say, C1 T1 plus C2 T2 this T1 T2 etc Cn Tn is a set of features and this C1 C2 etc to Cn that is the weight of the feature and means T1 is a feature T2 is a feature etc to Tn is a feature and C1 C2 and C etc up to cn are uh, weight of the features so what happens over here is here this features weight gets adjusted feature doesn't change but the weight get adjusted over here so we combine all this and get the final result of a solution so here pattern classific uh, classification often combines with weight. We have seen that it, every feature or pattern is combined with a weight. And it is difficult to know on how much weight has to be attached to each feature. So this weight, uh, how much weight we have to attach, that is a problem. So what, uh, there are two, two methods over here, either by experience. Like first it will take a weight, it will start from 0, then it will increase a value to say uh, 0 0.01, 0 0.02, like that it will go on increasing the value and then uh, it will do trial and error method and if you get the solution, then you will say, ah yeah, so 0 0.02 was the value of C1, only then we got the solution. That is one method, by experience you can gain, otherwise there is another method and that we use the outcome to adjust the weight from factors in an evaluation this is perfectly neural network perceptron method and i'll make a video on that so we'll learn more in over there so i'll just tell you what happens over here is you have inner layer you have hidden layer and you have outer layer so output layer hidden layer so what happens over here is after generating the output 
that output if it is not correct it uses the output to adjust the weight over here over here it adjusts the weight so that's how uh, the other method is so i'll uh, very quickly make a video on neural networking so please don't forget to like share and subscribe thank you